What's going on gamers? Today we're going to be going over how to add the journey map mod to your Apex Minecraft server. Before we hop into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can stay up to date on every tutorial we upload just like this one. Whether you're playing vanilla or modded Minecraft, there's always the risk of losing track of your position. This can become more troublesome the further you travel and the more locations you discover. Trying to write down coordinates can be tedious and disorganized, leaving players to desire something better. Introducing Journey Map, a mod that aims to fix all these issues using a real-time map and waypoint system to keep track of every important location that you find. Installing mods can be a bit tedious if you're unfamiliar with the process, but today we're going to show you how to do so every step of the way and even on how to install it to your Apex server. Before you install the mod onto your client or your server, you're going to need to download it. The first place you're going to want to start off is the JourneyMap CurseForge webpage. You can either Google it or just click on it through the description because we're going to leave a link there so you can easily find it. Once you're here, go ahead and click on files at the top of the page and now scroll down until you find recent files and click on view all to the right of it. This is going to give you specific versions and if you click on game version on the game version tab, then you can find your specific version of Minecraft that you'd like to download the mod for. We're using 1.16.5 for our server. Just remember you could use any version of this as long as you're using one that's compatible with your Apex Minecraft server. Once you found a version that's suitable for you and your version of Minecraft, go ahead and click on the download button to the right of the file. Once this downloads, make sure you save the jar file in a safe location, such as your desktop folder that you set aside for this process, as it's going to be needed in the next step. To start off on the client, if you don't have Forge installed, we're going to show you how to do it really quickly because at the end, we're also going to show you an easy way to get to your Minecraft files. Of course, we're going to link this in the description of this video, but this is the official Forge webpage. And on the Forge webpage, you're going to be able to select the different versions that you'd like for your install. So whether you're downloading for a 1.16.5 server or a 1.18, just select the one that you need and make sure to download the recommended. This is always going to be the safest version to have installed onto your device. Just click on the installer and run through the ads and then run the installer and make sure to install the client. And now you're ready to move on to the next step and just go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher and navigate to installations. Locate your Forge installed profile. That's this one right here and then click on the folder icon to the far right of the file. This is going to open your file browser for this version of Forge you have installed to your version of Minecraft. You should have a mods folder if you don't already have one. Go ahead and make one. Then copy and paste the journey map mod you downloaded earlier to this folder or just open up the folder and click and drag it over to your Minecraft Mods folder. Now, just return to your Minecraft launcher and select your Forge profile and click on play. This is gonna launch the game and load up the mod on your computer. For the server side installation, you're gonna wanna go ahead and enter your Apex server panel. Here, go ahead and stop your server. Once your servers come to a full stop, and it's fully offline, then go ahead and scroll down to the jar file selection part of the page. If it's not on your correct version of Forge, then go ahead and click on the jar file version selector. It should be a drop down like this and either type in or scroll up or down to find a compatible version of Forge. For us, it's 1.16.5. So that's the one we're going to select. It's going to ask you to change version, click on that, and then it'll ask you to create a new world or use an existing one. 
we recommend that you create a new one. And once the restart button pops up, be sure to restart now. But once your server does fully come online, then you aren't going to need to stop it. We're just restarting to get the base files on your server ready for your mods. And once your server has started and fully stopped, then you can hop into FTP file access and log in with your information. Once you're logged in, go ahead and enter the mods folder. And once you're in the mods folder, click on upload to the top left of the page. This is gonna bring you to the upload page. From here, open up the folder where you had journey map downloaded to and just click and drag it over to the right hand side of the page. Once it's uploaded at 100% and one out of one files, go ahead and return to your main server panel page by clicking on the name of your server at the top of the page. From here, go ahead and either start or restart your server to get it up and running. And once it's online, Journey Map should be installed and available to access both in survival and creative game modes. Once you're on your server, you're going to notice a couple changes at first. You have a new minimap at the top right of the screen. This is going to show you your player, waypoints, and details, such as the biome that you're located in. You can zoom in and out using the plus and minus keys by default. You'll also notice that it'll give your X, Y, and Z coordinates by default, and in might even tell you the time and day depending on your server settings. When you press J by default, you're going to be able to access the full size map and menu of Journey Map that gives you a more detailed view of the areas you visited. You're also going to have a ton of buttons to toggle what entities you can and cannot see. Creating waypoints is another crucial part of this mod. You can create a quick waypoint where you're standing by hitting the B key. You can then customize the name, color, and the dimension it appears in. You can adjust all your waypoints using the full size map or using control B keybind. And now we're gonna go over some common issues. One common issue that may arise during this process is your server not starting up after adding the mod. Oftentimes, this reason is caused by an issue with the installation and the version of the mod you're using for your server. For example, if I dropped in a 1.13.2 mod into a 1.16.5 mod, or even worse, a 1.18, then I might have some issues and my server might crash. Definitely not preferable when you're running a server. Another issue you might run into is your world not working with the mod. Now, this shouldn't happen with something like Journey Map, but if you want full compatibility whenever you install a mod, be sure to create a new world when you start a server up for the first time. With that, you should have an understanding on how to have Journey Map installed on your server, onto your client, and an understanding of its basic mechanics. If the basic settings don't suit you, you can change presets of the mods and customize it to your liking, even putting on different themes, minimap shading, and much more with this mod. Whether you use it as a companion on a mostly vanilla world or edit it with other mods, it's extremely useful and you're not gonna be able to live without it after you use it. Gear up, bring your minimap, and begin adventuring with the journey map mod. Well folks, that's all we've got for you today. And as always, we hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.